Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to clone any body part using the clone stamp tool, but I'm going to show you the correct way to do it. We make a, lo a lot of people make a mistake doing this, and I'm going to show you how to use the clone source window to make sure you get it right. Now, here is the original image of the pupper dog. He's got one eye, he's a bit of a pirate. Here is the first crack at it using the clone stamp tool. It's pr it looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie, but it's not correct. If I zoom in and show, if I show you the correct version, this is the correct version. Now, what's the difference? Look here, if you look in here, if you just, if this is just using the standard clone stamp tool, you'll see here that the inside of the eye in this case, we're doing the eye is the tear duct and the sclera of both eyes are facing the same way. And if this was done correctly, that left or the right eye or our left would be on the inside, which is what this is. So this is actually correct. Let me show you how to do it the correct way starting from scratch. Okay, hopefully you're following along with me. First step, load up your image right here. I'm gonna work on this puppy dog and we're gonna work on his eye. Next, you wanna hit the S key on the keyboard or you can just go into your toolbar and grab the clone stamp tool. For me, oh, where the heck is it? It's, up oh, uh, there it is, clone stamp tool, grab that. When you do that, before you start doing cloning and all that stuff, you wanna go up to the top left here, make sure that you've got a soft round brush selected. In almost all cases, you want a soft round brush because a hard round brush will give you hard lines, which is not what you want. This is a uh, kind of a more subtle uh, look here. So there we go. Now, you can also change the size of your brush. I've selected 80 pixels, but if you want a bigger size or a smaller size, you can go in there and adjust it. All right, my dog was barking there, so I had to stop for a second. So here we go. We've got our brush at 80. It's a soft round. We've got clone stamp selected. Now watch this. What you need to do is you need to go to window and make sure that clone source is open. And what you can do here is this very rarely used uh, panel window here. It's called clone source. And what you want to do is you want to, in this case, left click on flip horizontal. The reason why is we're taking this eye and we're putting it on the other side of the dog, but we wanna flip it so that it's correctly inserted, so to speak. So make sure that that is selected. Now hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option key on a Mac, hover over, oh, make sure you've got the layer selected. Hover over the middle of the area that you wanna work on. I'm gonna say this eyeball, I'm gonna click right here, left click on it, and then I'm gonna put it where I think it should go, somewhere around uh, that looks about right. What do you think? Right there. Okay. Now, in almost all cases, this is correct and you're done. That said, I'm going to show you one more thing here. If you go ahead and grab your, let's say, elliptical tool. In this case, I'm going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. Watch this. I'm just going to drag a little marquee over his eyeball or her eyeball. And now I've got a selection made. But if I hit, if I hit Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC for transform, if I got the sizing wrong, you'll see here now I've got this little bounding box, I can make the eye bigger or I can make the eye smaller if I needed to do that. So just keep that in the back of your head. It is an option, but there you go. This is how you do it inside Photoshop 2023. Thanks for watching.